everyone, we got perfect weather. Um, welcome to Oxford. It's super windy, so I apologize for whatever the sound quality will be. Yeah, my parents and I were going to be exploring a little bit of England for a couple days, about nine days. So I'm gonna take you along. We just took the train out of London up here to Oxford for a day and a half. I'm really excited. I'm going to meet one of my virtual, my online friends in real life. Um, we're gonna get a tea, that's gonna be fun. And yeah, we're just walking around. Unfortunately, we didn't get tickets to the Bodleian Library. Uh, so we'll have to come back, but uh, you can walk into a lot of these different colleges um, for summer free, some are like a small fee. So we're in the Balliol College right now. Stunning, couldn't have asked for better weather. We had a really lovely brunch and yeah, we rented a car and we're gonna head out to the Cotswolds later uh, tomorrow actually. So yeah, it's it should be just a really beautiful trip, very calm. We're just like looking at the countryside and having a good time trying not to buy books. <laughs> so yeah, I will catch you guys later, but um, thank you as always. from my friend Perry who studied here. So I got to go into her college um, and it, how lovely. I got just like, I feel like I should have paid her for her services. I got so much history. Um, this was so fun. So now I'm going to go find my parents and we might go for another little evening walk. It's about nine o'clock now, but it's still like lovely and bright. Um, or I might pass out and go to sleep. I'm not sure. So I'm going to see what they're up to. But either way, I will see you guys tomorrow as we head out to the Cotswolds. And I'm so excited. This has just been, this is like a one day trip and I'm already like happy. Could go home, you know? So, okay. I'll see ya. And speaking of thanking people for their services, I would like to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is Squarespace. It's a really wonderful place to host your online presence. I personally use it as a blogging space because I really like their comment section. They have monetization features if you're trying to make a shop. They have really wonderful analytics and it's super easy to set up. They have a lot of free templates for someone who isn't very tech oriented. It was really easy to choose a template, set up my website, and have it live and looking professional very quickly. So if you would like to try that out yourself for free, you can do that right now at squarespace.com. And then when you're ready to actually launch your website, you can go to squarespace.com slash carrycakes to get 10% off of your first website or domain. So thank you as always to Squarespace for supporting this channel and let's get back to the video.
everyone. Problem I did not foresee. Trying to find a way to film with this so like so much direct sun. Um, hi, we have left Oxford. We're heading out to the Cotswolds, and now we are at the Godstow Abbey, which was recommended by Perry. Thank you so much. It's just this giant old abbey as it were. Yeah, we're going to slowly make our way to Burton on the Water, which is going to be our hub for the next couple days. But it's, the weather is just unreal. Um, like what is going on? So um, yeah, we're, we're feeling very, very lucky, um, but I'm going to go find my parents now. Uh, and I might not film a lot because I'm in charge of directions for this trip. So I am paying very close attention to the road because we drive on the other side and so anyway see you at Burton on the Water Vitamins and history books Psychology and a different way to look at it all Cause my perspective is broken If suffering's a way to earn your keep I better start Putting miles on my feet But I'm so tired of wandering Not bad, not bad. Um, tomorrow morning I'm going to go ride horses. I think I already told you this. I'm clearly excited. Um, and that's it. I had a very good vegetarian burger that I didn't take <laughs> any photographic evidence of but it was delicious and that's it I had a very wonderful black currant and clotted cream ice cream this car is driving manically okay um, and yeah we're gonna head home I'm gonna finish my book tonight I'm gonna take a shower we're gonna have a kind of easy night um, and I'll see you when there are horses <laughs> Something waiting right there where you left it, lying upside down. When you finally find it, you'll see how We're it's faded. The underside is lighter when you turn it around. Everything stays. Hey, checking in for my fa frazzled British woman era. <laughs> Just rode horses. I'm gonna go climb that tower. And there are dogs everywhere. Keep your eyes wide open, even when the sun is blazing. The moon controls the tide and can cause you to drown. Everything stays right where.
checking in from Upper Slaughter. I was in Lower Slaughter this morning. Hopefully we will be heading home soon because I am sugar crashing from that incredible carrot cake. <laughs> but successful day. early morning from Bibbery. Uh, we came here so early um, in order to take a photo, help Arlington Row remain the most photographed street in England. Um, so this is our last day in the Cotswolds and we're heading to Wales today, which is incredible, blowing my mind. So anyway, we're gonna go say hello to the houses and to the cows and to the very noisy ducks. So. So a bit of a bookish interlude. Last night I read Thorn Hedge by T. Kingfisher. Um, she writes the best like short fantasies um, and this one was about a fairy who lived in this kind of, first off she grew up here in the river and then she is living in this thicket, this, you know, hedgerow. Um, and I think it's supposed to technically be in France, but the hedgerows are the same here. So it was just really funny to have like been surrounded by that particular imagery all day and then to come home, get in bed and read a book. And it was the exact same imagery. It was just a cool experience. If you are in a place that has hedgerows uh, and you're interested in a, a 100 page book, I mean, little teeny tiny little fairy tale, felt it truly felt like a, a little tiny fairy tale um i recommend thorn edge t king fisher set the mood and just now when i was looking in the um the stream i saw a little tiny tiny baby country mouse and i was like but is it a mouse is it a fairy anyway life imitates art so <sighs> on to potentially coffee and then home to get our wonderful breakfast by our wonderful host and our wonderful Airbnb. See you then. There you sing Music's my favorite thing How dare you speak Can't but find me so
sweetness could reach everyone There'd be no wars will sing about your heart maybe the trees will whisper the word maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope another country off of my list very exciting um so hey on why is famous for being a town devoted to bookstores so obviously i had to come it's really fun because a lot of the bookstores are really specifically themed so i went to the murder and mayhem one and i got an agatha christie that i'm positive i've read the great thing about me is that i forget plots of books almost immediately after i read them um, and so I, it's great for mysteries and thrillers. So I just really liked the cover. <laughs> so I got this, but tomorrow we're just gonna kind of run around uh, and see the rest. There's a couple bookstores that were closed on Tuesdays. So we're gonna see those in the morning. And then we're going to make our way to Bath, which will be our last stop of the trip and so yeah i know i haven't been checking in a lot um but that's because i'm traveling with my parents and honestly it's like been a lot of driving and just looking at the beautiful scenery everyone's been so lovely we've chatted with so many people i feel like i've talked more on this trip than i have in a very long time so i'm gonna go on vocal rest when i come home and yeah i just hope i've been doing it justice again like there's there were so many just beautiful things out my car window that didn't i couldn't capture it the same way on camera so just know that it's been stunning and um yeah i'm excited to visit bath and then spend the night in london and fly home so um i will see you guys if i don't talk to you before then see you guys in bath thanks for joining me bye
Good morning, everyone from Bath. Um, we've been here for <clears throat> just one night. What a magical place. So I was supposed to meet my friend Joel here, but he had like a scheduling conflict. He was out of town. So he sent me a list of bookshops to go to and there was one right by our hotel. And so I went in, my mom and I were gonna go out and get ice cream. And I just happened to pop in. And as I was buying, I bought a pamphlet, which is actually really, no. I found another like short story by Hangang that I haven't seen translated, so I bought that. And as I was standing at the cash register, I saw that they were obviously setting up for an event, but I didn't think much of it. And um, they were setting up for a book talk and book signing for an author that I have read and I have like, I'm very interested in knowing more about her. So we asked if we could stay and it was great. It like changed my whole opinion. I read one of her books and I was sort of like, mm -mm, not 100%. And then like her talk just completely made me want, she rewrote her first book that, so when I read and she made changes, all the changes she talked about were the things that like I didn't love. So I'm excited to read it again. It was so nice. I met a couple subscribers, but anyway, now we are going to head to breakfast and head to a garden and we're gonna go to the baths later tonight. That's gonna be great. So welcome to that. <laughs> expectations we were in there for a very long time definitely go we went at 7 30 which was 45 minutes before sunset um really cool so much information really great audio guide um highly recommend like we just kind of thought that we were going to be kind of viewing the baths and that was it but there was i didn't i didn't even film it because i was so into it endless knickknacks fun little facts um Great. So anyway, we're gonna go get gelato and yeah, Bath has just been so nice. Everyone's so nice here, probably because they have a lot of tourists, but still, um, it's been treating us well. So see you tomorrow.
like an angel set me free Where are you now? Do you feel safe? I don't need an answer Just need some space everyone we I am solo right now because I'm heading to go see six the musical I don't know if I already said this or not but yeah I it came to Seoul for a couple days did not get tickets um, I happened to we walked by the theater and saw the poster and I was just like what and I walked in and they had three tickets left all really obstructed views but I got the one with I think the least obstructed view I just want to see it um, I been so obsessed. Oh, this road is closed. I'm trapped. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> the, I've been obsessed with the tutors since uh, I was little. That was like my thing. Some kids had dinosaurs. I had dinosaurs. And then I had the tutors. So um, six is about King Henry VIII's wives and their pop stars. I don't know. I listened to a whole podcast about it but I've never seen it nor heard the music. So um, yeah, I'm just, I'm so excited and that's all I'm doing. And then I'm crashing, going home and then we're heading to London tomorrow, going home, like fully, fully going home. So um, if I don't say anything for now, um, I'm just hopefully having a great night. So now I'm, I'm lost because the road is closed and I'm trapped. So um, I'll see you later. <laughs> best decision in the world of not listening to the music beforehand like I said I listened to a podcast so I knew of course what it was vaguely about I know how they like wrote it randomly nothing <laughs> could have prepared me for House of Holbein if you have seen it you know I so I, I don't want to spoil anything but there is like this gut-wrenching song in three minutes she had me sobbing and then they flip the switch in a way that you would never, you would never see coming. And I was losing my shit. I was alone. I was in between a very young girl and a very old man. And I was just like, 
howling. I was convulsing. <laughs> So now, now I have given myself permission. It's also pouring, sorry. I don't know how to fix it. Um, so I'm walking home in the rain, very, very British feeling. But yeah, now I, now I can go listen to it on Spotify, but that was just so good. It was so good. So highly recommend, especially if you know kind of the general backstory of all the women, um, it was just, Oh my God, House of Holbein is my new jam. If you see it as number one on my Spotify wrapped, don't, don't judge me. Um, I'm also like, I have a lot of faith in myself. I'm just kind of walking and I realize they don't really know where I'm going. But anyway, sorry for the, there's just a man performing and there's no one on the street. Okay, so yeah, we're heading back um, early morning. We're gonna wake up heading to Oxford, then heading to London. There's a train strike tomorrow, but hopefully that is not an issue. I just wanna, <laughs> I just wanna get home. I've been gone for a long time and I would really like to be home and see Kurt and make him listen to House of Holbein. Oh my God. So anyway, um, I, yeah, just, I laughed, I cried. Incredible. Um, see you in London, probably. <laughs> Well, we know it wouldn't be a trip to London without being caught in the pouring rain with no raincoat. And hello, we're back in Korea. I don't even know what to say. That trip was really lovely and relaxing. Um, probably not as much for my dad because he had to drive, <laughs> but it was a really good time. And I think I've talked to more people. It's actually quite funny. I, I feel like I had more conversations with strangers in England and Wales than I did, than I have it like this entire year. And when I posted on Instagram, like a little, you know, carousel of photos from this trip, it was the busiest comment section I've ever had on my, on my Instagram either, because people were like, you should go to York. And then someone was like, I live in York. Where's the best place? Blah, 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 blah. Like chatty Cathy's all over this country. It was just great. Beautiful. Again, the weather was great. We had sprinklings of rain, which was what I wanted in Bath because I just wanted those like wet cobblestones. So we got rain when we wanted it. It was beautiful. Um, London, that was weird, but that was kind of funny to be trapped in a pub. <laughs> there was a group of people in the pub with us that were doing a pub crawl and like none of them had umbrellas 
and they just had to stay in the pub. They couldn't go to their next pub because we literally could not leave. It was it was lightning, thunder, and pouring rain. London always gives you a reason to remember her. Gotta love that city. Truly just really wonderful, and thank you to everybody who gave me recommendations. It was a great trip. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, once again, thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. All the info will be in the description box, but you can go to squarespace.com slash carrycakes to get 10% off of your first website or domain. Always a pleasure, Squarespace, always a pleasure. Uh, so yeah, I have to start editing this video and hopefully get it out to you, and I will see you guys next time. We'll be back in Korea. So, catch you then, okay? Bye.